Hive and VB project here with a list box. And sometimes when we add items to a list box, we'd like to have them formatted in columns for adding two things. So in this case, I'm adding an item to a shopping list and a price. This might be a printout, maybe for a register. And I want to have the item over here on the left hand side, but and have it be left aligned. And I want the price on the right hand side and have it be right aligned. So you see how my, my decimal points align very nicely. I'm going to add another item here so you can see this. So we'll add in potatoes. And let's say that's going to be uh, $4.75. And we we'll click Add Item. You see how it adds it in, and each time it's putting a period for the spaces in between. So let's take a look at our code to make this happen. I have a list box named LST Columns, and one of the keys to making this work is your font in that list box needs to be a monospace font where every character takes up the same width. An I takes up the same space as a W. And so typically, most programmers probably use Curry or New. That's the most standard monospace font on your system. And um, so I have it set to Curry or New 9 point. And then I have a list box here called TXT item, and then a list box called TXT price, and then my button, which takes those two items and adds them to the list box and formatting them. Uh, so they go across the same line and are aligned very nicely. Let's take a look at the code for the add item button. So very simply, I have a string variable of the item and string build. And I have a price, which is going to be a double variable. Item is going to equal the text that's in that TXT item. And then price is going to equal the text that's in that TXT price text box, and I'm converting it to a double value. And then here's my string build. String build is going to build the item that's going to go on each item of our list box. So it's a string value. So I'm going to start with the item. There's a string method called pad write. And in the parentheses, I put how many spaces that column should be. In essence, it's going to create a column of 20 characters. And my um, string value is going to be on the left hand side. It's going to pad to the right of that. In this case, I'm padding a period for each one of those characters to the right until I have 20 characters. Then I'm going to concatenate to that string build variable the price, which I'm going to convert to a string of two decimal places. It actually make currency, so currency of two decimal places as a string value. This one I'm going to pad to the left in a column of eight characters. And so all the characters preceding what I need because this is going to be aligned to the right. To the left of that, it's going to add a period for each of those characters. And then I simply add string build to my items each time. If I were to take this uh, period out or put another value in there, it would substitute another character. If I don't have any characters in here, it will simply by default put spaces. So let me run this again. So I add my first item. See, now I've got spaces instead of periods. And yet things are aligning on the right-hand side as far as my numeric data. List boxes do not have a text align property. So if you want to just put text in a list box, that is, that is right aligned, you need to use the pad left uh, string method to align those values on the right hand side. Here is the same application done in C sharp. Let's just look at our code. So again, I have two string variables, item and string build, a double variable called price. The text that is in txt item goes into my item variable. And the text that's in txt price is converted to a double value and placed in the price variable. Then I'm building my string using pad right. So item's going to be in the first column, pad right. 20 characters is my column width. And every character after the item is going to be a period to fill out that 
20 character column. And then I concatenate to that my price, shown as a string of currency with two decimal places. And I'm going to pad that to the left in a column of eight characters. So every character preceding my price item, my price value, is going to have a period in it. And I simply add that string to the list box. So again, let me run this. So I add my first item. Add my second item. And my third item, you see how the price on this one's a little bit wider, and it still aligns nicely on the decimal point. And all the characters in that first column after my item are periods, and all the characters before my price are periods. And this gives us a nice alignment effect.